Okay guys, welcome back. This is episode 37? I'm not sure. Okay, so first off, you may notice that my tools are different. Um, I started making a texture pack a while ago. Well, I should say, I made a texture pack a very long time ago, and then I ended up not using it for whatever reasons, and uh, I lost it somehow, and it was all very sad. And um, so, I decided to make a new one, and I made these textures a while ago, and I think they're pretty cool. I've got different ones for each, um, for all of the tools except gold. Um, but that's all I've done so far, except for glass, which I've also changed because it's just... The way glass is now, if you have multiple layers of glass, it just looks horrible. Because all of the little pa particles or little uh, pixels in the glass just look terrible. So I decided to... Um, fix it up so that it looks much nicer and I mean it's just a, a border around an empty square so it's much easier to see through okay <clears throat> so I will be probably um, adding more stuff to the texture pack as time goes on um, so you can look forward to that I know I will that should be fun it'll be like this little adventure with the with uh, just between you guys and me so oh there's something weird going on with my pants there Alright. Anyway. So yeah, that's that. Um, so now, I've made a few changes. And there's a tower now. Um, those little things sticking out are the, the rails that I told you I was going to make. Um, right now, there's two floors, and that'll probably just be the way it is. Um, you come up, and on the middle floor, we have little areas where there will be uh, minecarts. And I'll just put like a sign on the side of this to say where it's going, or even maybe on top, or... No, it'll probably be up there, actually. Just like saying what the destination is. And I'll have buttons where these torches are, so that you can just hop in the cart and press the button, and you'll go. Um, yeah. So... That's all that I've got right now. I don't have nearly enough sandstone to actually make the, the railways go anywhere. Uh, or enough gold, actually. I really need to get to mining some more. Uh, I need to enchant another pick, a diamond pick, to get um, unbreaking and efficiency again. And then I'll have plenty to, uh, I'll have a nice pick that'll last forever, so. Anyway, up here, I, this part right here, I want to replace with glass. I haven't um, actually put the glass in yet because I ran out of sandstone when I was trying to, because originally it had all just come, come over like this, but then I was like, no, there needs to be a roof here or something. Um... So I extended this one out and didn't have enough glass on me or sandstone to finish many of the other ones, so. Yeah. But uh, this is going to be my tower. And hopefully we'll have some fun here. I mean, it's, for the most part, the top part of the tower is just for looks. There's not a whole lot going on um, that's going to go on up here. I may... I may make rooms out on the sides of these, I'm not really sure yet, which is partially why I extended them out a bit, so that way, if I did want to make a if I did want to, if I did wanted to make a room, if I did want to make a room, I could just, you know, take down this part and extend the room out that way, um, which I might very well do, uh, it's, I'm not entirely sure yet, you know, it's just, a. Uh, this is just the beginning of it so far, this is just really, it didn't take that much effort to make this part, it was just make a big ring. Well, it took a lot to get the sandstone, but aside from that, yeah, I, st I started tearing up one of the deserts back home, uh, or back at the original base. Oh, good, I do have some iron tools that I can show off. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I've got a, a green gem on the, uh, where it connects the tool to the handle, and each, each tool has a different colored handle. The Diamond ones have, oh, excuse that little thing in the bottom right corner there, if you can see it. <laughs> um, one of my friends is playing Skyrim and Steam enjoys telling me every time. Um, so these ones have the yellow handle, and these ones have the um, red and orange handle. And then, let's see, um, do I have any wood or, oh, well, I know I have stone in here. And do I have any, oh, I have wood in my inventory. <laughs> I'm not the brightest, so... Okay, wood tools are just, you know, 
wood tools. Not too exciting. Um, yep, that one looks more like a bat than anything, but they do have like a leather handle, which is what I started with. I was like, you know, I'll just pretend that there's a leather handle there, and then as I moved on, the stone has blue handles, which actually I really like that blue. Um, I think it looks fantastic. But, um, yeah, so. And that's the stone sword. And then, uh, I'll grab some iron. Do I have any iron? I'll have to turn a block into pieces to do that. And then you've seen the pick and hoe, but I come over here. It's the axe. Again, it's got the gemstone. And the sword. So, um, I like my, my tools that I've made. And, uh, yeah. And that's why I made the glass like that. Because originally it was just this big mess. Like, trying to look up through that top window there. It just looked horrible. So I changed it to that. It was funny because I was watching one of B00's episodes. And it, he said, like, at, he was looking out a window. And I was like, you know, I should really change the glass on my texture, on my texture pack just because it looks awful. And then he was just like, oh, you know, I think I'm going to change the glass on it. I was like, wow. That's, uh quite the coincidence there. I'm going to wait until more of it's grown, more of the wheat, just because I don't want to have to go in and pick which ones I'm tearing down and stuff. But yeah, so I will be changing, hopefully, everything. Um, it might take a while before I actually get that far, especially if it's something that I don't see, I might not change it. So, like, I might go back and change everything that I've used so far in the home base and then show it off. <laughs> um, and then start changing things for, like, desert biomes. But, you know, I might not change anything for the nether or, um, like, swamp biomes or stuff until I get there. I don't know. I'll probably start with things like, you know, stone, wood planks, stuff like that. Things that I use most often. Again, I don't really know. It'll have to, it'll have to wait until I get there to see what exactly I'm going to be doing. But, yep, yeah, so, um... I've got that ready. I'm going to sleep so nothing destroys me while I'm out at night. Oh, bed is occupied. <laughs> I find it funny that it tells you the bed is occupied when you're the one sleeping in the bed. But, uh, let's see, I haven't done it like much mining at all because, for the most part, I just went back and, um, back to the old base and went into that desert and then just dug a big pit. And I'm doing it the way Etho does it, where, um, like, I found this one cactus that was six blocks tall, and I decided that was a sign, and that's where I started my little sand farm. And, uh, I just dug down until I hit sandstone, and then, like, two blocks down from that so that I could actually get underneath the sand without it falling on my head. And then I just placed torches down in a big row where I've dug underneath and then just break out the blocks underneath it so they all fall on the torches because like sand blocks are if you put them like that the only reason it's staying there right now is because I actually placed it on the block but if I were to update it or something with like a torch on this or or not okay um but if I were to break this one the other ones fall on the torch and break so um I've just been gathering all that sand like that um, oh crap, creepers blew up on me one time when I was coming out of my mine. There's one here and one over there, <laughs> and it looks awful. But it's like, I hesitate to use all of my sand to fix it because I don't have that much. Oh, that's good enough for now. I'll come back, and usually what I do is I dig out all the sand and then cover up to cobblestone just about this level, or like one level below the surface, and then just put one layer of sand on top. That way I come out with a bunch of sand and, um... It looks the same as it did before. I don't know if I showed you guys. I did fix up this thing to have it every two, so now it's a much smoother ride coming back up. Um, I will be putting a nether portal somewhere down here, probably like on the back side of the staircase. Um, I'm not really sure, though. But yeah, so it's a much smoother ride going up now. I mean, it still does seem a little bumpy, but, you know, that can't be helped unless I want to put one every block. But yeah, so I'll be having that those minecarts come out to like over here and one will go over to the farm the one that's going out that direction will go out to the mob trap and then there will be another like it'll have another station there possibly like wrapped around the top of the building 
um, and then you just you know ride a, a ladder down. Um, but then that one will go out to, or actually I might just make a building next to it, where is like the uh, welcome to the desert stop kind of thing. So when I'm coming from the base, because I still want to do that uh, rail across the ocean, which is going to take forever to make, but oh well. Um, and this rail will go over to that one. The one on from behind will probably, or either from behind or from that side, like the other side of this tower, will go over there. And I might actually make the back one go over to this one, and then have this one go somewhere over there, where I might make like a pumpkin farm or something. I don't really know. Um, I'd like for to have one rail coming out of every side, but you know, that might not be possible. So, because I just don't have enough places to go. Anyway, I need to go before this recording messes up, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.